Hey everybody and welcome back to another video in my channel. So today I've um, I've got this on camera as well from, uh, on my laptop because I'm going to be talking about a scene controller called Rhythm Switch. So having a look here at the website. So if you can see here, you've got the Rhythm Switch. It is um, a device which is uh, roughly $249.99. So that's what it actually looks like from the box. So comes in a nice little box as well, a nice little touch screen, quite slim design at the back and with some terminals. So main terminals are your live and neutral at the top there. And then underneath you've got some uh, low voltage controls for other stuff. Um, it can do, out of the box, it can do things like Philips Hue and Sonos. But um, you can also purchase plugins to be able to do things like uh, Fibaro, Reiko, uh, HD Anywhere, Blue OS, etc. But as I'm a Fibaro guy, we're going to be talking about Fibaro. So what can we uh, expect from here? So I'll show you these pictures here. It's a bit better. Uh, so you can see that. So what it looks like. Uh, so these are like your scenes and things. Um, then you've got individual lighting controls, which you can do as well and um, that's your thermostat control then you've got your sonos control um so just give me a second sorry about that so we have uh, as i was saying we've got the sonos controller built in so this is just how it's mounted so it's a simple little plate at the back which you clip out so this then screws into the back wall and then this just flicks in and gets put onto the uh, back plate and then that's what it looks like from the front now uh, what we're going to do is there's two ways of connecting this we have we can permanently wire it in at the top using live and neutral so 240 volts and unfortunately you can't control a light directly with this which means you will still need to have a module to control the light the other way you can uh, connect it is at the bottom here there is a micro usb uh, sorry a my mi yeah micro usb slot here where we can plug in a micro usb cable so that's what i'm going to be doing uh, for this test because it's on my bench at the moment so let's plug it in here right so now that's plugged in so now let's have a look so it's booting up now. So what we're going to do is we're going to now get it connected up to Wi-Fi. Um, and then we're going to add in the home center and we're going to add some lights in. So now uh, let's accept the license agreements. So we've got no Wi-Fi connection. So we just scroll down, scroll down from the top. Click on network and I'm going to click onto my Wi Fi connection and put in my Wi Fi password. Right, it's connecting. I'm done. It's just going to be doing an upgrade, update. So we'll let that do that in the background. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is integrations and we're going to see install plugins at the moment nothing's there so we're going to go oh let the update which shouldn't take long then we're going to add integration right I've had this for about um, six, seven months sitting on my desk and I finally got around to uh, to uh, to using it. So that's probably why it needs update as it hasn't got the latest stuff on it. So hopefully the ones that you get from the shops or well, once you buy it will have uh, the latest updates on there as well. So next stage, once it's booted up, is we're going to start getting the plugins sorted so 
and let it reboot. Right, accept the right so now we've got no scenes provider because this is the scene screen so let's go back onto here so now that when i scroll down it comes to this screen here so i got to press and hold the middle button to go into settings then i'm going to click on integration add integration and the first thing i'm going to add is sonos and just need to press and it's now going to search my home network and add in the sonos speakers So completed, and because this is a scene provider, I can go there to do configuration for screens and scene screens. So we're not doing that at the moment. So, but if I click on the bottom, which showed the icon for little music, that takes me to my Sonos player. So if I can just go down to here and I can then choose the different Sonos zones and it'll play whatever I've got on here or click on my favorites click on that and then just press play so there you are that's working perfectly fine so let's go back and we're going to go on to add another integration this time we're going to add in the fibara core so here we just need to enter the ip address and then we're going to enter the username and of course then the password so then it will just be connecting so it's connecting to my system and again i'm not going to do the go there just yet for scenes so we're going to go to integration again and this time we're going to add in the climate and just select the same home center and it's going to add in the climate panel as well so now that's how we've added in our fibora system one thing i'm going to change is the display settings and get rid of that timer to 60 seconds um, so it doesn't keep turning off so that's that done okay now let's go on to screens scenes screen button text small and we're going to add in the scenes from the home center and let's add in all the scenes so on my main home center if you look here I've only got four scenes that are visible and those are the same four scenes that appear here so I'm just going to select all of them and then this is the order in which they appear I don't have any group scenes so I can leave that alone and the level screen this is for the different lights so I'm going to choose say I'm in the master bedroom so let me just just choose a master bedroom and let's just choose the box room and the landing for, for instance so it just shows them them rooms and that's it then I'll go backwards and go backwards and go back there so now we have our scenes now according to this I think we can have up to six uh, is it six or four no I think six we can get six on here so yeah we can have up to six different scenes appearing and to make them uh, i'm not going to press any because i don't want the alarm to activate down here we have our sonos on the right side we've got our levels now this one is a, is a, like a master switch at the top which shows all the devices that i've got in this room so and if i just scroll up it then turns on the lights and of course whatever i've got plugged in in here but i can actually go down here and um, switch off the different things here like that so that's switched off the um strip lighting and then i've got that can then control just the light on its own here like this okay now the pc is the plug that i've got on this pc so let's go back to zero to turn the light off so let's go back now um back to the scenes page 
and then over here the Fibaro climate so we need to set that up now so what we need to do is go back here go back to settings and the other thing we can do is we're going to set up the location so we have our um, temperature set so let me put my postcode in right it's found it so now here at the top you can see what the uh, current temp is in my location so now that is complete also and now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the thermostat so press and hold for the settings then we have to do is let's get to the right place um, click on rhythm stat uh, we're going to call this a hallway and then I'm just going to do a tick box at the top we're going to enable the thermostat and then the heat on action so that's in the home center uh, that's and then we're going to scroll to where my relay switch is and switch on for heat on and go to thermostat again over to the boiler room and the boiler switched off with no offset because the uh, temperature that we can we'll measure the temperature and see if that's running okay before we uh, decide to put an offset in so go back there go back there and back up to the main scene screen go onto the climate and there's our zone that appears so we can actually set this up to multiple zones but there's no point because the temperature sensor is actually built into here so we might as well use what's built into here and if i put this in the hallway then that's where it will be so let's click on hallway and we're going to turn the um, turn it all on so click on the button and now we can just adjust the temperature like this so if I scroll over to say I want 31 degrees over here and then if I go into my hallway theoretically there we are it switched on the uh, the boiler switch so now I'm going to scroll back and say let's have 17 degrees or 18 degrees 18 degrees temperature and then let's uh, set that and as you can see on the display that has now switched off because the temperature was greater than um, than 18 degrees so right now at the moment I've got two different circuits running so let me go back onto here and have a look 22 and a half yep so that's okay so that uh, so the fibaro scene now unfortunately all the coding sorry the temperature schedule and everything has to be set up from here which means that we will then have to use some this manually and set up all our um all our timings and schedules manually from here instead so that means uh, not being able to control it with fibaro unfortunately okay so that is my rhythm switch everything set up so scenes oh, i keep going wrong way so so scenes so we got the climate scenes different lightings for the different areas go back to the middle sonos goes back to the top scenes temperature uh into settings and things like that so here we have our system i like the switch it's nice good for scene control probably the only thing i'm not too keen on is the thermostat uh control because it doesn't actually go back into the home center so everything would have to be set through here but at least it can then control the home center uh, um, modules directly and the, but the scene part is absolutely brilliant and that's probably what I would like the most and that's probably where I would actually um, use this then more than anything else the ability to put this into a room maybe 
say in front of a light switch, have a module behind there, and then that way we've got full room control and uh, audio control as well. So, oh, uh, like I said, it is around two hundred and forty nine ninety nine in the UK. So, uh, if you want uh, um, inf more info on this or any inquiries definitely give me a, a message and then um, we can get this done and dusted for you so thank you uh, for watching and um, bye for now